All right, welcome back to the 2024 North Central Florida High School Football Media Day hosted at the Alachua County Sports and Event Center at Celebration Point in Gainesville. Today's event is broadcast live on FloridaHSFootball.com, including YouTube and Facebook at Florida HS Football and X at FLA HS Football. With me now is the Bell Bulldogs under veteran head coach Joey Whittington. I say you're outside of Willie Jackson. I think you might be the first veteran coach I've gotten to speak right. to today. Um, you know, being a long-time head coach, we'll just talk about your team this year and some of the things that you've seen maybe are different from past years. Um, well, the good news for this year is uh, we, we only graduated five players, so we got to bring back a lot of players. Um, the senior class, uh, five of them that are up here with me now, they've had a, they had a good spring, pretty good summer so far with seven on sevens and weightlifting. And then, you know, with uh, the, the junior class below them and the upcoming sophomores that had a really good JV season, you know, kind of looking to capitalize on that this year and bounce back from the two and eight season that we had last year. Yeah, and let's just go into just talk about some of the guys that you brought into with you today, a, a senior class that you feel comfortable with. I do. Um, I brought um, right next to me is uh, Isaac Johnson. He's uh, he's going to be our quarterback this year and uh, play a defensive back for us. Uh, next to him is Jaden Lopez. He's a uh, he's returning at wide receivers, our leading receiver last year, and returning back at that position this year. And he'll also do some special teams returning for us and play some DB. Um, Next to him, number ten is Cole Rary. He's our lead, he was our leading tackler last year. Uh, he's going to run the ball a little bit this year, and then he'll he'll be an anchor on our defense. We'll kind of rotate him around uh, week week to week where he's needed. Um, next number eleven, Elijah Klingerman. He's returning uh, starter at cornerback for us. Um, he'll he'll help us out of corner. He'll help us at wide receiver and in the return game too. Um, he's he's our prior most veteran DB coming back and excited for his senior year. And then um, the last guy on the end there is uh, Elijah Vega. He's a returning offensive guard for us. Kind of with we had an injury situation last year. We never started the same offensive line twice. So he kind of he played some games he played tackle, some played he gave games he played guard, some games he played center. And this year he gets the opportunity to kind of you know hopefully we're going to anchor him down at guard and do that for us. He, he was a one of our top D linemen last year, and um, he's coming back in that position this year. So, very excited for the senior class. All of them are, are returning senior, are returning starters. So, um, you know, they kind of know what it takes. They've they've been through a rough year, and they kind of they, you know they've all expressed they don't want to go through that again. So, kind of leaning on that to kind of as the team moves forward to start the season. All right. So, starting off with Isaac, just talk about you know playing quarterback. You know, what are some of your comfort levels? Are passer, runner, you know, do it all guy. What, what do you see yourself in this offense? Um, I think we'll be a lot more run heavy this year. Um, we're definitely going to rely on the run a lot um, as I'm more comfortable with the run. And you play both ways. You also play defensive back, correct? Yes, sir. And, and, and does that help you as a quarterback at all, getting to play defense? You know how to play it, you know, and now at quarterback you can kind of see what to look for. Does that help you at all, you know, getting to play both ways? Honestly, it just makes me more tired. But. <laughs> yeah, we're going to kind of keep him a little bit more fresh this year for offense. Um, but he has that knowledge where he can step in for us. It's good to have some of that knowledge so he can step in and play when needed. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. And let's talk about your receiving core, um, some of the guys you have, you know, your targets, what, what are you, your comfort levels with them, and you know, just the connections that you are continuing to form. Yeah, we got Jaden, which I've known him my whole life, so there's a connection there. Um, just playing football in the yard, just like it's there on the field, like – you can read each other's minds and handing the ball off to a young guy like Landon Williams, and he's a pretty strong runner. Yeah. And just we'll keep it moving on down the line. And you know, receiver, just talk about your quarterback a little bit and kind of the, that connection and that relationship. At receiver, I'm I'm comfortable with him because, like you said, we've known each other forever. I have faith he can really get me the ball, put it in the spot I need to get to, and I just do my job from there. Yeah, more of a slot guy, outside guy, deep threat, short threat. Where are you comfortable with the receiver? I'm more, I'm more of an outside guy. Gotcha. I like being outside more with any route. And and talk about this offense a little bit. You know, it's mix of the run, pass. You know, what, what do you see so far? We we haven't really been always like a very strong passing yeah. team, so we more focus on the run a lot more. But, I mean, when we have to pass, we, we get there. We can get the ball there most of the time. But we're focused on the run a lot more. And, you know, receiver in a running heavy offense, you, you have to block a lot, too, on the outside. Not a lot of guys like doing that. How much pride do you take in that as an outside guy? It's not my favorite thing, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's, <laughs> it's my job on the team. So yeah. I have to do it. You know what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha. And then moving on down the line, uh, Cole Rary, a running back and, def and defensive back, 
talk about the running back position a little bit in a run heavy offense you know what has that been like and, and what do you see with that um, it's definitely tiring going play after play but it's fun and I think it helps our team and, and, and talk about last season a little bit I know the the two and eight record and you know, things weren't great it was a bit of a struggle and now you guys kind of regroup this year a lot of veterans on the team just talk about that I think We've all known each other. We played since JV, so I think that helps a lot. We've come together more and are right, helping each other more. And uh, your head coach is one of the more veteran guys in this area. Um, a lot of you know transitions around with the head coaching position, but you have one of the more veteran guys. You know, how has Coach Whittington helped this team with all the veterans going in and and kind of building this program and going forward? He's gotten closer with us as a team and stuff, and I think that helps. And talk about this defense for uh, a little bit, too. You've talked a lot about the offense, but what do you see from this defense so far? Um, a lot of returning guys that know what they're doing and have improved since last season. Gotcha. And stuff. gotcha. And uh, moving on down the line, uh, again, another receiver, Elijah Klingerman. Uh, Elijah, the same question, just talk about your role in the offense. What do you see out of the, your quarterback and, you know, the, the connection you have there? Um, my role in the offense, I'm kind of uh, – I play Z receiver, so we do a lot of jet motions and uh, motion out to, to open up the run and stuff. I'm more of a slot kind of guy, so it's just those quick passes. And, and um, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's pretty much yeah. – our, our offense is, uh, you know, obviously we're a run-first kind of team, but – if the receivers just need to work hard, uh, block a lot, and our time will come to get the ball. Yeah, gotcha. And uh, and also playing defensive back, does that help you a lot as a receiver? Kind of getting to knowing how the defense reacts and how they play as you play it. Does that help you as an as a receiver trying to adjust? Uh, yes, sir. Um, just knowing their coverages and kind of recognizing that can help you. Uh, you know, know where to break off the route and know just the concepts of. Uh, you know, the route stemming and stuff where, where the defense is going to be weaker, it really helps a lot. Yeah, and now going back to the defense, talk about your defense for a little bit. What can we expect out of Bell this year? Um, I think our defense was uh, lackluster last year, to say the least. Dealt with a lot of injuries and stuff. This year uh, we got a lot of returning guys, like Cole said. I think we have a really good chemistry, a lot of uh, communication on the field. And... Uh, I think I think we're looking up this year on defense for sure. That's right. And uh, our final guy on the end there, Elijah Vega, is the only lineman with us today. Elijah, just talk about the offensive line for Bell. Um, we'll start with that group. What have you seen so far this off season? How has the off season gone for you guys? A lot of the linemen have been in there working hard as much as they can. Um, I think that we're going to be pushing people around pretty easily this year. We got a pretty solid line. Um, and coach talked about a little bit about how the offensive line had a lot of rotation last year just because of you know injuries and everything like that but you were pretty pretty much the anchor of that group just talk about your role and your leadership role on that offensive line I was somebody that people could rely on when they didn't know the play and everything like that like if they could ask me questions what they needed to do um, I was uh, it seemed like a different position every week yeah. just about and I, I knew everybody's role and how, ha how does your versatility to play multiple offensive line positions help you, not only as kind of being a, a veteran on this team and be a leader, but have an impact on the field? It um, definitely allows me to, to know like all the ins and outs of what is needed to be an, a lineman, just about. And you play defensive line yes. too, correct? Talk about that role a little bit too. Not only having to be a versatile guy on the offensive line that knows every position, but you also have to go play defense too. Yeah, uh, um, it's it's tough, you know, playing both sides. But when you when you know it, it's needed, I'm willing to stand up for it. So. That's and, and where are you? Are you more of an offensive line guy? I know you play both, but where, where are you more comfortable with? Offensive line, defensive line, a specific position? Me personally, I love being on the D line. I love making plays. I love hearing my name called on the internet like but people speaking and being an offensive lineman in a run heavy offense what is your strength with that you know have you just the comfort levels there and, and everything going on with the, being an offensive lineman in a run heavy offense well I love like 
pushing people back. You know, being in a run-heavy offense, you drive people down the field a lot, and that's one of my favorite things about run-heavy. Awesome. And, Coach, just before we wrap this up, um, your, your 12th year, I believe, coming into Bell. Just from your first year to this year, just how has everything changed, and what have you seen from just not only at Bell, from but the high school football in the state of Florida as a whole? Well, obviously we all know high school football has been changed different transfer rules in the state of Florida now with NIL coming through from the FHSAA. Um, just, it's been a lot of changing, you know, in the 12 years that I've been there. Um, we've been able to, to address them and handle them as they come um, through there. But just, you know, we've kind of seen the ebbs and flows, whether everybody wants to be run heavy, pass heavy, it kind of goes back and forth, different, you know, different styles of offense and defense are coming and going. But, you know, I've enjoyed my time at Bell and, and just being able to, you know, have a good system there, good administration. Uh, good teacher support, great community support, and just kind of helps us navigate all the changes as it goes. Anytime you're somewhere for a long time, you got it like like that. You have to have that support from all different levels, and I, I've definitely experienced and experienced that in Bell for us. And uh, going into this year, what can we expect from Bell? Any final thoughts? Anything that we should look out for? Um, I've been, I'm very excited. We, you know, our spring we didn't do a traditional spring game. We kind of had a, a inter squad scrimmage this year, and you know it was a very physical game against each other. And I, I enjoyed seeing that. Um, you know, anytime you do that with us, split up the offensive line. But so going back to just practices before the game, offensive line, I felt like they were gelled pretty well. We, we're a big pull. Our guards pull a lot in our offense, which Vega and um, and Manny Rodriguez get to do a lot for us, and they excel at that. And then you know we returned Danny Byers and Corbin Abarca at our tackle positions, and I think. Um, they, they were able to open up some holes uh, for Cole, and we got you know we have twin brothers that are rising sophomores that are going to also be in the backfield this year, and just um, very excited to take advantage of that. And like they kind of said, you know, um, you know we're run heavy first, but you got you got in today's football you have to be able to throw it, yeah. and so we have the opportunity, you know, um, um, with Isaac at quarterback and Jaden and Elijah at wide receiver, Caleb Cerns. He's here walking around, him a wide receiver, and a couple other guys that fill in for us, Brandon Aguilar, uh, Jordan Spears, and uh, Levi Jacobs. They kind of, you know, we'll be able to, I think we'll be able to address what we need to do week in, week out to take care of business this year. All right, awesome, Coach. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming out, uh, taking the time to talk with me today. Good luck this year. Uh, we wish you guys.